Almost a year ago, I made my 3D graphics engine with very limited knowledge on the subject. The project was buggy and didn't perform well on high quality 3D objects. But after a while of watching Javid 9X videos and smashing my head against a keyboard, I have something that is even more buggy and even worse with high quality 3D objects. What you see before your very eyes is the reason you haven't seen an upload in a month. It's jam packed full of features like a first person camera that can only rotate on one axis and every feature from the first graphics engine. The engine doesn't crash when you move towards the object, but that comes at the cost of having a massive performance issue. Now you might be asking yourself a few questions like, how is this any better than the first engine? And why did you decide to make another one even after you said you were done? And why didn't you do texturing? And I will be answering all of those. So how could this be any better than my first graphics engine? Well, stuff that I mentioned before like the first person camera and clipping were big changes. But there were also changes in the lighting system, the projection matrix, and normals were added. If you want to learn more about those topics, go to Javid9x's YouTube channel and watch some of his 3D graphics engine videos. He's really good at explaining advanced topics throughout his series and I encourage you to check him out if you have an interest in 3D graphics. Why did I decide to make another video on 3D graphics? Well, the answer is simple. My last few videos left some of you with varying questions on the project. I wanted to make a video answering those questions and finishing off the 3D engine series. I'm not planning on doing any more custom 3D engine videos, but I have been looking into OpenGL and I've been wanting to do a coding stream on this channel in the near future. The reason I didn't do texturing is because of performance issues. Pygame doesn't like having to deal with images, and because of that I was getting about 4 seconds per frame. That is, 4 seconds to render a single frame. And that concludes the last video of the series, and of the year. I'm going to branch off of the subject of 3D a bit, and experiment with different ideas. I'm always open to suggestions in the comments. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and also watch my last video on making a chess bot from scratch.